Uh, good afternoon. I want to show you the video on my uh, third uh, guided uh, I guess video game for the semester. This one is Survival Shooter. And let's show it to you working. Build. Yeah, I, I just did it from that uh, root of the file just so I can show you that it's there. Uh, I just called it version 1. So let me open it up. Hit play. With Unity. So the game I chose to make was this one right here. So it's just like a star shooter. Pretty much you can shoot the enemies. Uh, so this is a zomb button. And uh, I'm able to shoot the, the enemies here. This is a zomb bear. Yeah, so each one of those has different uh, stuff. I can damage them. I can take damage. When I take damage here, you notice the, the red indicator just to like, let them know, hey, uh, I just took damage. Also, another thing that, uh, I guess with this video game, well, I guess let me show the game working completely. I want to run it off, and I'm going to go through and die, and uh, show you, I guess, it working. Uh, so my score now, for each one of these, uh, Zombears and Zombies to kill, I get 10 points, and for the big Heffa, Heffa, elephants, I think they're called, I get more points. Uh, I guess I'll just die right now, so I can show you. There you go. And then this right here is done, uh, the game over is done with animation as well. But uh, so, yeah, what I want to talk about more was just some stuff I learned from this. Uh, so what I learned, it, and I guess through this tutorial, is spawn points. So these zombie bunnies actually spawn right here. Give me a second. Oh, they spawn right here in a little uh, mouse hole. This uh, elephant spawns right there in the back of the cabinet. And these zombie bears spawn over here. Watch. There you go. They spawn already. There you go. So each each one of those gives me ten points, and I just want to kill a elephant real fast to show it's fifty for a different one. Oh, there it is. There you go. There was fifty points right there. There's another one, and I'm just gonna die. Oh my god. There you go. I'm gonna just die real fast. There you go. And uh, that's the video game working right there. Uh, just some stuff I learned from the game uh, was pretty much the spawn points. The game over uh, text that comes out there at the end is an animation, so it just runs for a short amount of time. Uh, I guess other stuff I learned through this uh, tutorial also like a particle components. And particle components made it possible for me to shoot this uh, gun that's attached to my character. So there you go. And each time I shoot, you'll notice like a little beam that's still with the line renderer. And it has sound each time. Um, I also learned that I mean, you're not supposed to loop it, of course, and not play on a wake because you'll hear like a little gunshot at the beginning. I don't want that to happen. I also learned uh, health bars right here. So watch. There you go. You see, I took two hits right there. I lost 10 health for each one of those hits I took. And uh, the reason I chose this video game was because uh, I want to make something like this, I guess, like a survival type of game. I know it's, it's a pretty old game, and I'm pretty sure you don't know about it, but I actually really, really enjoyed a, an old game called Zomb uh, Burn Zombie Burn. Uh, and that's where I actually got the idea to do something like that. And then when I saw this video, it was like, it was perfect. Of course, I think I'll do like like a better upgraded like users and characters and stuff like that. And I, I remember last semester, actually, when uh, I was there, a student came in with something that I had in mind for like the game I want to make. Um, that's what I want to do there. Exactly what what this game type is called, I'm not too sure. Uh, let me finish this out though. I'm just gonna die. Okay, let me close this out real fast. Task manager. Yeah, I know last time the thing was interfering with. There you go. Uh, last time was interfering with uh, a task. But uh, just I guess to give you an example of what I was talking about, I'm gonna show you the game I'm talking about right here. Uh, I think it's still recording there. Yeah, it is. So, this is the type of game I want to make, something like this. It's a super old game, it's a PS3 game, and, uh... Okay, it's not pausing. There you go. Yeah, pretty much it's just like a, it's like a, I guess, restricted area where you can play and, uh... He's just killing zombies constantly. That's pretty much like the type of game I want to make. Of course, this is like a super old game, like, the reviews from 2012. Uh, I want to make, like, a newer version of this, like, with... Maybe not necessarily zombies, but like some type of monsters or something. Something more like 
I look a little nicer. That's pretty much what I want to do. Uh, as far as okay, so I covered already. What plan uh, to pro for the project this semester? I already discussed. I want to do like some type of survival shooter. Uh, why you chose the tutorial? I just discussed that as well. And demo the project, the program tutorial three, and what you learn from it. So yeah, pretty much. Uh, that's how I learned spawn points. I learned animation. Uh, their line renders on the gun. Uh, also like pretty much the tip of the gun has a line render. Make sure you have it on the tip of the gun so it shoots where the gun's pointing at, not in a different direction. Uh, particle components, stuff like that. I mean that's pretty much the new stuff. Every, everything else was stuff that we did before, just changes it a little bit differently. Uh, I guess well, the animation was pretty much like one of the more newer things. Uh, but I mean that's pretty much it for the the video. I mean I just want to show you the project working. And it's right there inside my desktop. Uh, thank you very much for watching.